I know, I look incredible. It's a whole thing. I could cut my losses. She's beauty and she's grace. Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to this week's new vlog. Last week I did not pick up the camera at all to just like vlog my life. I did film a sit down video though. I filmed the previous video that was up, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm kind of feeling eh about it. I don't know. I feel like sit down videos just aren't where I shine. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Sit down videos just are a bit of a struggle for me. I just can't do a whole video in one take like some people who are really talented. Steven Pereira. I stop, I go off on tangents, I have to delete clips and start again. It's a whole thing. Somewhat of a fun video so I'm still going to upload it. But anyway, it's Monday. I don't have any plans for today except I'm really excited to get stuck into doing some winglet work and what else? I don't think I have anything super exciting going on today. I need to head out and get some more like face cream. So I might do that a little bit later. But anyway, it's almost 10 a.m. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm about to go do that and get stuck into my day. So good morning, guys. We drank way too much coffee throughout the day, so we literally got an air pot. Look at that. I made a lemon and poppy seed loaf over the weekend and look how good that looks. I put some butter on it and put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. But it's not as good as the lemon loaf recipe that I'm obsessed with. This is a different recipe completely. This one's a bit more dry. It's not as moist as the lemon loaf recipe that I love. I think next time I'm just going to make the normal lemon loaf recipe and just add some poppy seeds into it. Because this lemon poppy seed recipe just it came out a little bit more... Like it came out like flaky, like I don't know if you can tell, but it's not as moist as the other one and I really love the other one. It's two o'clock now and our electricity has been off since like 12. Really don't know why. No one is explaining because we weren't meant to have load jetting today, but our power just isn't working. And I had my heart set on making like a tuna melt hot toasted sandwich, but obviously I can't do that. So instead I just had to make a normal basic tuna sandwich. I added some avo in it and it's still really good but I was just really excited for a toasted sandwich. But hey, first of all problems. That is my lunch. I'm just gonna continue doing whatever work I can do on my laptop battery before it dies and then literally just sit and wait for the power to come back on. Guess what? It's like 12 minutes later and the electricity is back so I guess crisis averted. I know, I look incredible. Happy Tuesday, guys. I didn't do anything interesting the rest of yesterday. I mean, I'm not really doing anything super interesting right now either. Why are you so zoomed in? Hmm. Weird. Anyway, I spent yesterday adding listings and editing the video. But how crazy is it that over the weekend it was snowing in Underbit? I think that's so funny because today is literally the last day of winter here in South Africa. Tomorrow is the first day of spring. And of course, it was snowing in Underberg. It was even snowing in Cape Town, on the mountains in Cape Town, on the mountains in the Eastern Cape. It was just snowing everywhere. That is true African time for you. Anyway, I have my cup of coffee and I'm just already going to get stuck into editing. I'd, I'd really like to get this video edited early today. And at some point, I'll jump in the shower and look more human than this. But right now, let's just focus on the vlog. Let's just... Yeah. All right, I know I prefer to edit vlogs over sit down videos, but the faces I am making in this video is insane. You can tell that I am legit just reacting to unruly passengers because look at this. <laughs> like, what even is this face? Oh my word, look at this. This is so funny. It's just mostly confusion, let's be honest. I'm just confused. What is going on? Especially that one. 
these are some real gems what can i say she's beauty and she's grace <laughs> I'm just at the store quickly. I need to come and pick up some tortillas because I want to make burritos for dinner. And I think I need some face cream or something. I'm not too sure. We'll see. But I need to pick up a couple items before Keegan heads off to get his vaccination because we're using one car right now. So <sighs> yeah, let me just get this done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my life depends on trying to figure it's real, but I could let loose Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way I think I figured that them figures out to get you Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say I think it's difficult to get out on my I can't do a grocery haul when I get home So I wanted to quickly show you what I got I got some face cream, face toner um, I got the tortillas I got bread And I got sandwich turkey and I got sandwich beef of course I had to get some gherkins for the beef sandwich specifically and then I absolutely love Moscato and it was on sale it's usually 70 Rand and it was 45 Rand today so I had to grab a bottle admittedly the wine and the gherkins were not necessary but I enjoy gherkins they make all sandwiches taste better and also the Moscato was 25 Rand off. I can't turn down a deal like that. <laughs> I'm currently making the chicken for dinner for the burritos. I've just cooked up some chicken with some of this garlic pepper, chicken spice, and, and I also threw in some cumin. And then I've prepped, this is some grated cheese. I've got the black beans here already. I've got some cut up lettuce there already and I'm just gonna chop up my avo and like mash it up not necessarily make guac but just mash it up oh wait it's um the second verse right I think it goes like I've been stuck inside this pocket of day empty walls and stress gotta start smoking this cess I turn redundant I'm a con I'm ignoring myself can't stand what could dwell in she said he telling me I'm the center of all my problems but I can't complain I ain't a man of my own I'm 26 now home I ain't grown, I've been wasting my way to progress But at least I got your love on my back You said he making me laugh For that, I gotta thank the Lord above us cause Okay, here is my burrito bowl I've been craving this like crazy But you can't see, I've got rice and beans underneath I heated those up And the chicken And then I put some lettuce, some of this avo And I just chopped up some tomatoes here I didn't necessarily make a salsa I just topped up some tomatoes Mixed with some garlic, salt, pepper And some coriander, so that is dinner. Delicious. Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm just having my coffee so that I can go and do a quick workout this morning. And I'm working on editing one of my mock-ups for an Etsy listing. And it's still a little bit chilly this morning. But what's so nice is that I've got this stream of sunlight coming in. And it's perfectly hitting my feet and keeping them so nice and toasty warm. And there's my face. <laughs> the burritos last night were so good. Have you ever watched the show Dexter? It's kind of crazy. So Keegan and I started watching over the weekend and we just got to the end of season one last night. And it is so hectic. It is such a hectic show. Like I kind of enjoy those like psychological thriller type of shows like I've watched both seasons of you and I'm definitely excited for the third season to come out in October. Dexter is just another level. Let me know if you've watched it before and if you enjoyed it or not. I mean I'm only in season one so I could cut my losses if it's not gonna be that good in the coming seasons but other than that the shows that i have been watching are kind of silly shows i watch like married at first sight i really enjoy watching like reality tv that i can just like where i can just judge people <laughs> you know i literally thought i need to start a second channel where all i do is just judge seasons of shows or episodes of shows and stuff because I always have so many thoughts and so many opinions about like certain characters and all that stuff. I watched Selling Sunset recently and I had a lot to say about that so that was funny but yeah I enjoy watching stupid shows like that like Married at First Sight, Selling Sunset, you know those like TLC shows as well I kind of enjoy those. I don't even know what tangent I'm going on right now I just wanted to say good morning. <laughs> as you can see 
I am on my laptop. I'm having a little spike in creativity, but I've also told myself that at 10 o'clock I'm gonna do a quick workout because I haven't worked out since I think the day before I got my vaccine and it's like 12 days later and I haven't worked out because I read somewhere that you should take it easy and not like run a marathon the day after you get vaccinated. So that's what I've been doing. I'm just gonna find a quick like 15 20 minute Chloe Ting workout to follow and I'll just do that and then I'll get back to this but I literally even wrote down a list of all of the quick little um, designs I want to add <laughs> Okay, workout is done. I want to go shower and then I want to actually go and get some bagels for us for an early lunch because the other day I drove past this place called Jack's Bagels and they actually look so good. And so I picked up one of their takeaway menus and they've got what looks like a pretty good menu. Like if you want to read that, I don't know if you can see that necessarily, but that's some of the stuff on their menu seems pretty good so i actually want to order because they have a whatsapp contact that you can send your order on and then just go and collect so i want to actually order some of these and go pick them up and i'm wondering if i'm able to get like a couple of plain bagels like just bagels because that would be so fun then i can pick up some cream cheese and then tomorrow morning i can have a bagel with some cream cheese and sprinkle some of my everything but the bagel seasoning on it that just it sounds like such a plan and it's getting me so excited i mean it's more money for them so hopefully they don't mind i don't know we'll see but first i need to go shower <laughs> the goods look at how cute this is it comes in like a little box each of the bagels i was able to get two plain bagels for tomorrow so that is super exciting you don't really get bagels much here in south africa i remember the best bagel i've ever had was from a dunkin donuts in a train station in germany somewhere back when i was in au pair and my friends and i were going on our summer vacation it was so good there was just the perfect amount of ham and the perfect amount of cream cheese in it it was just chef's kiss honestly so i'm very excited and i hope that this lives up Ooh, this is my one okay i got a honey mustard chicken and avo bagel and for keegan we got a fillet steak with caramelized onions i can't remember what else there's cheese caramelized onions and something else but this is his one it also looks so good wow they're pretty decent size to be honest oh and there's pickles gherkins Gotta first get all of the angles for the gram. Ooh, I'm very excited about this. Look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can't handle how good that is. That is delicious. They actually don't have everything. Bagels, I saw they have sesame seed bagels, poppy seed bagels, chocolate chip bagels, and some other sweet one. And then just the plain one. They don't have any everything bagels i should probably pitch it to them be like hey i'll supply you with everything but the bagel seasoning if you give me free bagels <laughs> i am so happy about this discovery you have no idea i'm gonna go enjoy my bagel sandwich i need to take keegan's brother's tv to their house i also want to see a few updates on their house quickly and then i want to go to best before just to pick up like two things literally <laughs> It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the date I was caught up with my friends, I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the floor and found the champagne by the door All my favorite things, they were there except for you You were gone
Okay, this is my haul from Best Before. I only spent like 200 bucks, so I'm super proud of myself. I got a Funfetti cake mix. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got Keegan this Faluda mix. It's like a mango, how do I explain this? Mango lassi, he calls it. It's, don't look at my ashy hands. I just sanitized and washed my hands and stuff. You know the struggle. Anyway, this stuff is like mango flavored, um, but it's like a milkshake. How do you explain it, Keegan? It's like a bombay crush. Yeah, similar to a Bombay Crush. I've only ever had the strawberry Bombay Crush and I tasted this stuff and it's pretty good. Funfetti cake mix, I said, and I had to get some chocolate fudge frosting for the Funfetti. They didn't have a vanilla one, but I don't mind. We're just gonna make it with chocolate frosting. And then they had this Revlon Black Seed Oil Curling Custard. So let's see if it does anything for my hair. It's supposed to be strengthening and moisturizing. We'll see. I had to get two vanilla Cokes. They didn't have any mango Pepsi, which is the only reason I went there pretty much, other than those, but yeah. Coffees, this is Cafe Choco. That's for Keegan, and this one is mine, just the original. I'll just make an iced coffee or something with it. And then we got two packets of Bark Thins because these are life. Hmm, this custard, curling custard actually smells so good. Anyway, that was kind of a fun day. Actually got to go out of the house. I went to Yulene and Larry's house and saw some updates of what's happening. The garage is almost done. They're adding like a little man cave above the garage. So that's on its way to being done. And the rest of the house is pretty much livable except for the kitchen. They are just waiting for like kitchen cabinets and counters and stuff to arrive. But that's gonna take like a couple months to arrive. So it's gonna be a while. I cannot wait to show you guys the updated video of like the after of the house. I remember I did a before shot of the house and that was in a previous vlog. I'll link it if I can find it. I showed when they were just starting their renovations back in May, I think. Wow, they've gotten so far. Like all the bathrooms are almost ready to go. The master is stunning. But like I said, we're just waiting for the kitchen to come in and then I'll do like the final reveal of their house. It's, it's gonna be so good. Let me stop blabbing and get on with my listings and I'll chat to you guys later. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Down. You're so dirty now. All right, I got a little bit distracted from uploading all of the listings. I was playing with Benji. I was bringing in laundry that I did earlier today. I don't have to prep dinner. I literally just have to like heat stuff up, put it on a plate. So I'm okay, but this house is a little bit of a mess. Why do we have a computer that does not, I don't, I don't even know if it works or not. It's on the dining table. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. So tomorrow I'm going to try, try to declutter and I wanna to try to organize my clothes and stuff because right now I'm wearing like winter clothes and so I want to switch it out and put my winter clothes away and bring out my summer clothes. But while doing that, I wanna also check which winter clothes I haven't really worn, put them aside so that I can donate them. But I'll explain all of that in the next vlog because I'll do that all in the next vlog. Oh, and the reason this is like kind of starting to overwhelm me is because Keegan's mom and sister are coming to spend a couple weeks with us in a couple of weeks. And I don't want to be doing this the day before they arrive, you know. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't know why everything has to become such a long ramble when I'm just trying to explain like one thing. I have been spending the last few days watching Steven Pereira's Vlogmas. I think I mentioned this earlier in this video, I really don't know. But I've been watching his old Vlogmas videos and I literally just love it. And in, I'm on like day 15 of Vlogmas 2018 or something. And he's rambling on and on and he's like, I'm so sorry, I keep saying I'm done talking, but I keep talking and I, I know this video is so pointless, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, no, it's not, it's so interesting. And now I understand what you guys say because I know I have so many videos where I'm like, this was such a pointless video, I didn't do anything. I, like, there was nothing entertaining happening, so I'm so sorry if it was a boring vlog. And you guys are like, no, we love it. Oh, like now I'm kind of getting that, but, I'm still going to apologize when I do 
not very much in my vlogs and when there's not a lot for me to like show you guys especially if you're here for the flight attendant content and I'm just like sitting at home parking it the whole time so yeah apologies for that but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here just because uh, I feel like I've spoken your guys' heads off enough in the last three days. Thank you guys so much. Like, it literally has just taken me four and a half minutes just to say, hey, I I'm here to end the vlog. <laughs> wow, Andy, well done. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are all having a fantastic day as you're watching this, or at least I hope this makes your day just that little bit better. Please continue spreading good vibes and being kind, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye, guys.